<sighs> Hello and welcome to another episode of Crizzy Books, Crizzy Thrifts. I'm Crizzy or Chris, but only my homeboys call me Chris. I am finally back at you with another thrift haul. I haven't done one of these in a while because I injured my knee. Oof. And I knee did to rest. But yeah, I just haven't really been able to move around very much. I've kind of been stuck on the couch reading a bunch. Um, that's really all I've been able to do, but I'm feeling a lot better now. I can go thrifting again, so this is great. Hit up the Goodwill bins, the Goodwill outlet, as usual. Everything is so cheap there. I'm there just for the books. They've got all kinds of shit in there, but I just went straight for the media section because it's 40 cents an inch. Hell of a deal. It would be financially irresponsible for me not to go, right? Uh, so let's get into this one. First up, I found a lot of like movies and VHS and stuff. I'm not going to go through all that stuff because I don't think it really matters. Um, but one thing that I did find that I thought was very cool was this. The Star Wars, this is a Blu-ray like box set of the first six Star Wars movie. It doesn't have the new shitty ones, which is great. Every Star Wars movie on Blu-ray, I... Yeah, why not? I mean, come on. And plus it was just, um, you know, May the 4th. So yeah, hey, May the 4th be with you. Um, so I'm always on the lookout for old Stephen King books. I love them. I think the covers are just absolute classics. And I don't have a lot of them. But every time that I've gone to the bin so far, I have walked out with at least one old Stephen King book. So it's been hitting. And this time, we got three guys Guys, we, we got, got three. three. Starting off first, we have this very unique. I'm not even sure that I've ever actually seen this one before. Uh, the Stand. Just a very cool and different cover than what I've normally seen. Um, so I was pretty excited about that. I mean, it's kind of beat up, but I don't care. This next one, very cool too. Night Shift. Uh, but it's the Children of the Corn cover, which normally I don't like... Um, you know, movie covers, but this one is old and awesome. But we'll get to the third one later. It's kind of at the bottom here. Next up, I don't know anything about this, but I love just grabbing like old sci-fi books. I want to save them from wherever the hell they're going to end up after the bins. I may put this one up for sale because I don't really know a whole lot about it and I probably would never read it, but I loved the cover. We have The Fuzzy Papers by H. Beam Piper. Um, I don't know anything, but I mean, just... Love that. You probably can't see that. There we go. Uh, I mean, look at that cover. Look at those guys. The back has a really cool illustration on it as well. That one will probably be on eBay or something. Next up, I've actually been kind of looking for these. So this was cool that I found a couple. R.L. Stein, Goosebumps. So we've got Ghost Beach and The Haunted Mask. Um, I may read one of these. I would like to kind of go back and see if they were actually like any good. So I might read one of these just for fun. Because, I mean, it's just a, it's a book for kids, so it's not, it's not like they're super long or anything. I should be able to read it pretty quickly. This is pretty cool. Again, another like sci-fi book that I don't really know anything about. I think that this is a John Carter book, but also Frank Frazetta art on the front. I mean, you're getting scooped up. This one will probably be for sale, too. Uh, we have Swords of Mars and Synthetic Men of Mars. Um, very sweet cover. Very, very cool. Haven't read any John Carter. Can't say I really uh, know anything, but uh, I had to save this one. So yeah, this will probably be on eBay as well. Up next, this was the coolest find. I've been looking for this forever, and I, honestly, I found one a long time ago at a thrift store, and I didn't buy it, and I've been kicking myself ever since. Granted, the condition of this is not great, but I don't care. I was stoked when I found it. We have Christine. And this is this really old, cool cover that has that chrome illustration on it. Just so badass. I love this thing so much. It does have, like, kind of a little bit of, like, water damage on it. And it's it's a little beat up, but I think it gives it character. This is the only one of the Stephen Kings that I found that I haven't read. Man, he loves haunted cars, doesn't he? I, I think that this is going to be a cool, like, coffee table book. We have uh, this big posters by Maurice Sendak. So it's just... Uh, a giant book that's just got just like posters, just posters inside of it uh, that he's done. I think that that'll be, you know, fun to just kind of have lying around for someone in my house to take a gander at. Uh, but with that, that is all that I got. At the end of the day, $6.83 for all of that, plus all the other VHS tapes that I didn't show and crap like that. I'd say it was definitely worth uh, what I what I paid. What do you think? Pretty good haul? Pretty shit haul? 
U-Haul. <laughs> sound off in the comments below. Be sure to like. As always, hit the subscribe button. I'm going to try and do more of these more frequently now that I can walk again. So be on the lookout for more, you know, thrift book videos. Um, I can show you guys all of the uh, junk that I find. I'll, I'll link my eBay, I guess. I don't know why. It's not like I'm going to be selling a ton of them. But, I mean, if you're interested in buying any of the ones that I said, they'll be on there. So you can go and check them out. This is not an ad. This is not an ad. This is not sponsored content. As always, thanks for watching. Bye.